next really important tab that you want to pay attention to is called Maps. And of course, this is where you organize your maps. You edit them, you create them. You can add as many maps as possible um, with Mapify Pro. Now, the basic version, of course, just lets you use one map, but with Mapify Pro, it's there's no limit. You can post as many of these maps throughout your site as needed. So I have a few here, um, and I'm going to click on the demo test one to walk you through the process of adding a map, um, which can then have locations added. And of course, you can select to bulk upload your locations all in one upload via spreadsheet. So we're going to start. Of course, you name your map at the top. A lot of this is going to be very familiar if you're familiar with WordPress. It uses all uh, familiar uh, fields and buttons and uploading options and things like that. So you're just going to name your, your map there. And our first setting you'll see after you've updated your map is you get a map ID. This is going to be important uh, down the line when you want to place your map within a page or a post because that's how it knows which map to display. So make note of that. That's going to be added after you publish a map. So for this demo, I'm going to create a Google Maps version of a map, uh, but I also have the option of using a custom image, um, which is you know one of the, the big features of Mapify Pro and the basic version that lets you use any custom image that you want for your map. But for this demo, we will just click Google Maps. And um, we want to enable some of the advanced features like the ability search, which allows users to search by zip code or by city name. And the filters, which applies drop down filters to your locations, which allows users to sort the locations by specific topic. So default pin image is the, the pinpoint graphic that Google is going to use, um, or I'm sorry, that Mapify will use to overwrite Google's pinpoint image. This can be anything that you want. Now, locations that you add to this map can have their own pinpoint images also. But if you don't specify an image on each location, it will default to whatever you choose uh, when you pick uh, the default pin image. So that's what that setting is for. So that's general settings. Um, it is kind of a global um, settings for the, the whole map. So the next two settings are specific to whatever you chose in the mode setting up here. So since we use Google Maps, we will be applying our settings down here, but I wanna walk you through the image mode settings just to give you an overview. Now the Mapify image is, or I'm sorry, the map image is the default view of the map that you wanna use in custom image mode. So it's the first image that users will see when they visit your page. The zoomed in version is a larger version of that map. It has to have the same aspect ratio, so it allows the effect of zooming into the map to get closer look uh, while using custom images. Now the background color, that is for if you are using PNG files that have a transparent background where you can kind of see through it. Uh, for example, if you have like a floating island, um, and you don't have a graphic for the background and you want to simulate the ocean, you would just pick some blue color here. Um, that could be used to quite a bit of different effects there. Default is transparent. Um, if you use an image like a JPEG, it's not going to matter because you can't see through it. Uh, map drag momentum is the effect that gives it this drag feel. See, I'm, I'm kind of dragging it and letting it go and it gives it more, more of a sleek app-like feel. Uh, default setting is, um, uh, as you see here, this is the default, which we decided was pretty pretty uh, natural feeling, but you can control that. Um, default, I believe, is, is like 400%. So uh, enabling zoom is uh, the ability to control whether you want zoom or not. Some users have said they don't want zoom, they just want the map. Uh, so that would remove your zoom settings and everything would be uh, clickable right here instead of having to zoom in first. So that's that. Now we'll get to the part that we're actually applying, which is Google Maps mode settings. Uh, I mentioned in the, the tutorial with adding locations that you could set the radius in miles for Google Maps mode. So that's what this is. This is within five miles, which is kind of useless. So we would probably do something more like 50 miles. Um, and adding it to a location 
adding your pinpoint is uh, as simple as double clicking within the map locations. Uh, that will automatically use geolocation in Google Maps to apply the settings. So if someone enters um, a zip code or a city within this radius of the pinpoint that you've added, it will automatically filter that result. It's really good for store locators and things like that. Now this setting is your zoom level. I, I, these are all my locations I've already created. So what I'm doing here is telling Google what zoom level uh, what location I want to center on. So in this one, I have one called Where is Zach King? And I'll show you where that is. Let me go all. Where is Zach King is right here. So um, in, even though this hasn't been created, it's sort of like I've zoomed in on this one already, one of these. And I've told, I've told Mapify to zoom in at this specific level so the United States could show. And that's something like, um, you know, right around here that I chose uh, where you can set it. And you can kind of play around with that until you get it exactly where you want on your map. I mean, you can zoom in to the neighborhood level um, or of course all the way out to show the whole planet. It's totally up to you. So that covers pretty much the basics. The, um, the other important factor is filter tags. Now, these are associated with the map. Um, so for example, if I want to filter all locations in Cincinnati, I would add that to my map. Now when I create a location, I can apply that filter to it and it would appear in this dropdown. So if I click Cincinnati, only that those locations that I've applied the Cincinnati filter to uh, would appear. It's a really good filtering system that again is perfect for store locators or if you want to filter like I did on the demo. All this demo is running through the exact same settings. I have added these filters, uh, the filter tags to this map. So Mapify ideas, Mapify basic features, and I've tagged these locations with those filters. That pretty much covers it. Once you, um, that should give you a pretty good overview of how the maps are set up. And of course you click publish and your map will be ready to have locations added to it. And you can also add all your locations via the bulk upload, uh, which is through the Mapify Pro setting here, which I'll cover next.